Albert, with your foot speed, when Joe serves a hard shot to your left hand, just return the ball, sort of like a lofting shot, because with your speed, you'll be able to come up behind him and play any other shot. Very next time out that they met, he did that for three points, and he was successful. And then you know what happened? I forgot about it. He reverted right back to his old habits, which is all you really have. You must rely on what you are not on what the guru says, you see? And that, in essence, is why a fellow like Albert must generate the power he's generating, because if he made any variations on an off-speed shot, it would be to his detriment. I've seen that many times in the tournament. He had the definitive game-winning shot, and he would change from hitting a hard ball to try and looping it in while he was leaping into the front court. And he always came up short. And that's the problem in handball. Of course, I tell you this, I've never missed a shot from out here myself. <laughs> but over the years, I've tried to generate a little understanding about how players can improve their game. But you know what happens? It becomes a very boring practice. If you take any sport, a golfer, a bowler, a tennis expert, they spend hours and hours practicing the basics. You know why? It's not because they want to do it. it they know they have this to do it. Those are the You're professionals. Okay? Nice. What's your question, Matthew? Okay, well, I'm going to stop for a moment. All right. Matthew, that was the serve I was talking about. To the long. He pushes that right out to the long line on the left side. Truly amazing. Well, how come Albert, after all of these times of playing Joe Dota, how come he hasn't adjusted to this and made it or tried? Or? Joe's power now, because of training and push-ups and pull-ups and staying in magnificent shape, uh, I think he's just like an overwhelming force. Uh, and Albert, I don't, in my judgment, doesn't have the degree of skill in order to put a stop to the onslaught of that power. Yeah. He, he's just the guy who's blessed with a wonderful physique and speed, but is limited in the shots. Joe's got a lot of confidence in himself right now. Stay where you are. We'll do what I No, 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 no. I don't think you should go there now. I'll be so sad. Five, eight, better step zero. back. Better go back, see. Wait till it's time now. Don't go there now. Lock ball. Even place. You see, there was a little problem there. You think that was a good call? Yeah, it was. Okay. If there was another referee back there, they might have pulled out of the line. Being the light of the serve, he gets up with a shot. Yeah, but he waited for about a second. Two bounces. Two bounces. That was three bounces. What's wrong with okay. you? Three bounces. Oh, my God. Don't ever talk to me. One bounce. You are not my friend. Two bounces. Two bounces. Two bounces. Hey, Len. Hey, Len. Two bounces. Three. Two bounces. Three bounces. Three bounces. Why is this guy Never again. Talk to him. Okay. What I suggested before has finally happened. 
but I don't think it's going to affect Joe's play. He's just going to be more determined to punish Albert for that call. The man on the line has made two, two very bad calls. In my judgment, I think he's too close to the floor. I think to be a good referee on the short line, you have to be standing. That's what Morris said, that he should stand back for that. Okay, we're still early in the game, and maybe happily, this thing Grand happened Dr. right Batman. now. I will score about five points right now. Joe couldn't even shoot the ball. I, I think that uh, probably in Albert's mind, he he believed that he got the ball. No, he didn't. But sometimes, under the uh, panic of the moment, you sometimes forget yourself. Joe made a wonderful lift of a low serve there, right but just keep in mind, yeah. as this game wears on, Albert will be under more and more pressure to try first to win the game, and then think forward to the tiebreaker if any. Good at this. Beautiful, it's me. It was a wonderful beat. This, this again, in my opinion, is going to be a, a mini move by Albert. And the longer the score stays close, the more he's going to be tired. Oh. That's one way to become a soprano. <laughs> That's a very hard shot to make, isn't it, Ruby? There's a block and you get to see the ball for half a second and swing. Well, that's why it's a job of the referee to make a call. The unusual thing here is that uh, for some reason, Joe is more focused and he's containing himself a lot better than he did in the past. We've had long talks about this. Oh, you mean he becomes very volatile? Yeah. I told him many times there's no reason for him to do it. He answered by saying, I'm not like anybody else. I don't have to bottle this up. I said, Joe, there may be a few people that are going to try and rattle you. So just stay calm and be the champion that you are. He seemed, that happened yesterday. He, he listened. Well, is his play inferior when he gets rattled? No, as a matter of fact, he plays even better. Over the long pull, some pretty bad stunts on him to try and get him to blow up, but he's always come back even stronger. So maybe it's good if he blows up, perhaps it's 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 an asset for him. Yeah, but uh, so far as the crowd is concerned, it should be, uh, you know, maintained on a good basis. Okay, we're ready to play again. I think, again, as before, this is like a little bit of a feeling out process in the second game. They're both thinking about the consequences of the first game. I think the closer Albert stays to Joe at this juncture, the worse it's going to be. Again, it's my contention that when these two guys play, the real issue of the game <laughs> takes place around the 13th and 14th point. Even if Albert were to take a 14-6 lead, say just in theory, Joe will come back very strong. Oh, oh no! Yeah, oh yeah. I thought it was it. Joe, Joe, it was out. It was out. Play ball. Come on. It was out. Joe, it was out. Play ball. Can I get the depth perception? Yeah, I'm not saying I know it. Don't you keep up with accepting a call now? Why should they? No, they say you keep up with it. Why should they accept it? A human being, why accept Whether he's right or wrong, he's on the line. If they're playing for thousands of dollars. You don't even have to make a comment at this point. He should. Okay. He's a human being. If you're watching that sideline from this angle, the ball tends to look good, but a professional referee will take that into account. So if it just looks barely good, it's probably out. So Joe, as I told you before, he responds to the abuse even though it's concocted in his own mind by coming back even stronger. Watch him go now. He is determined to punish Albert and the referees by superior play. Let's see what happens. 
you run at Albert's right hand then? Do you think that was a good idea? Cho is still in his heart of hearts, knows the action will take place around the 14th point. Cho is really not concerned at this point what's happening. He'll allow Albert to take a lead. That was outside. That was good, eh? Good ball. Let's go, Al. Okay, there was no problem with that one. What happens, too, is when the uh, hot sun starts beating down on this uh, light cement, it causes like a mirage in the desert. Sometimes you see things that you thought you saw, and you really didn't. <laughs> it's amazing. You could call a ball, and you'll be the only guy in the park who saw it that way. Exactly correct. Because the light is hitting your eye, you're facing the sun, it might, it might hit your eyelid and cause a distortion in your eye at the moment that you're supposed to call the ball. The real great referees are very relaxed. But I've seen some referees, they're concentrating so hard that they concentrate themselves out of calling the shot. Look at this. It means nothing. It means nothing. That's more for the crowd than for the outcome of this game. That was a multiple volley, and it's taking more and more out of Albert. You see, this is like a can of gasoline. As you get down to where the indicator on the dashboard says E, pressure is starting to be put on your system. And he's really going no place in this game. That's my opinion from what I've observed in the past. And that's, and that's the reason why. Did you see that shot? The same thing happened yesterday, Joe against Torres. Torres made a mini spurt in the second game with hop serves and some other shots to the corners. But Joe didn't let it phase him at all, and he pretty much blew him away again. That's what you got to be thinking about. Anyone here owning a black Bronco automobile? It's being removed by helicopter right now. Does it have a license plate? What license plate? When I what? asked you to, to, to announce it, you couldn't answer it. Now you can do it, huh? Do you want to leave now? I'll you announce. wanted to leave before. They were playing. Why they were playing. Whoa. He made. Excuse me, he asked me to make the announcement, sir. So did I. He thought you the official did. Why don't you say a word? I'm involved in this. Good ball! Better late than never. Okay, I think Joe's going to crank up. At this point of the game, Joe is just about enough of everybody. He's going to really try hard now and end this. I think he overswung on that one. He's hitting the ball harder than he did the first game. Albert did the right thing. His only chance is to try and end the volley in his favor. If he tries to pass or he tries to pump or he tries to volley, it's going to be counterproductive. See, this game has not even begun yet, in my opinion. We're still to look forward to about the 13th or 14th point. I think Albert's doing very well. And punts. I don't think he'd make that many. How can he upend him? How could he hit it? He's not entitled to hit the man. Of course not. Joe right. made the shot. You're not entitled to jump it. into the... He did it. Um, <laughs> this is a case where uh, I think the referee made a major blunder. If Joe took a position and was standing still... He was stationary. ...and his opponent decides to run through his legs and, and to attempt to play the ball, he should, he should be out. Despite the excitement of the jumping and running and, and flying through the air, the official is supposed to know what the rule is. And unfortunately, since the uh, play ended in Albert's favor. favor, the referee undoubtedly played to the crowd. He didn't want to be hooted by the crowd. That's just a judgment on my part. I think, I think you're right. I think he was stationary. Okay. You see what happens every time Joe gets into a bad spot? 
That's the mark of a real champion. He didn't complain this time. He, that's no, the mark. he behaved like a gentleman. I don't think Joe really knew what happened. He was trying to play the ball even though he was down and backhanded. He thought he was going to win the volley. Having done that, not successfully, he figured, I can't argue now because I had a shot. Maybe that's what was going on in his mind. And once, and once in a while, when you're upset by another guy, physically, by his jumping into you, maybe you don't think as clearly as you should. Notice Joe's back. You don't see any sweat there yet. In order for him to really make those serves surge, you'll start seeing some sweat on his back. Notice Albert's back. See how it's glistening? That shows you the difference of what's going on. Joe is just coming to the point where he's going to be totally warmed up. Sir, sir, what kind of car do you have? 469 Chevy Station. What color? Folks, there's a Chevy Station wagon blocking up the traffic. Would you kindly move it, please? What is it? The last three digits are 469. Please help us out. Otherwise, everybody will be ticketed. I donated that big one. Huh? I donated that big one. Did you? Does it really play songs? <laughs> yeah? What you have to do is push the right button and it'll play songs? You gotta know the key. Yeah. The batteries are in there for three years. <laughs> okay. The rule in one wall, as you know, is if the man in front is standing perfectly still, that's the essence of the one wall, wall game. But at the last moment, Joe takes a calculated risk of allowing the ball to come close to his body. If Kenny sees it might hit him, he just moves slightly. The referee correctly picked up that little movement and pulled the block. The contest, as I said, hasn't really begun. Joe is starting to show a little glisten on his shoulders. I think he's coming to a point. And, and even though he's a big ham and wants to stay on the court, I think he wants to win the championship first. He has a blister on his tongue, too, right now. Yeah. Can I get a copy? Did he help you in any way? I just want to make sure you're uh, all right. I want to get Matthew, I want, I want, I want, I want to introduce difficult. you to the author of that piece from Sports oh, Illustrated. So, so why don't you ask him a few questions? <laughs> You, what, you want to make some commentary as the game goes no, I, on? No, I mean from your No, that was a great point. piece. It was complex, ambivalent. Uh, it, it had a lot of innuendo and you got a lot of mileage for the I know what song you can play in. I like it. I will know. You got that. You see? Here in the presence of expertise, though. You know what's going to drive the crowd wild now? All I have to do is make believe I'm going to make another announcement. And they all, <laughs> they're going to do the wave, and they'll hope I'll be carried away with it. <laughs> I know that. You know hey, that. Max, oh, better late than never. This is beautiful. Yeah, I like that one, huh? Are you on? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing now to the side, you'll have to use your mind's eye, is the great Hall of Famer Steve Sandler giving some advice to Albert Apuzzi. The same thing happened in the early 60s where the score was 18 up in the finals against Oscar Obert. And lo and behold, the wise and old guru, Mo Ornstein, came out during a timeout, put his arm around Sandler's shoulder and tried to tell him what was the appropriate shot at that time. Precisely that is happening now. Will there be the same result? The result the first time around was Oscar getting back on the court and winning 21-18. You see what happened was they spent the whole game trying to figure out what the other guy was doing and what they were trying to do. And then a third party came in with a new piece of information for the computer and completely scrambled his brain. Now what you saw was precisely the same thing. The man is well-intentioned, but at this point he should not intrude into the psyche of the athlete who's 
trying to get it all together. Let's see what happens. I think I know what's going to happen. <laughs> Is what are you going to do? Stay? Stay stuck for Isn't that beautiful? Oh, man. What do you care? What's your Unbelievable. Your attitude's very bad. You wouldn't know when you're ready to stop. Your attitude is very bad today. It must be very frustrating if we're nice to you to see a guy lose because he's not exactly the same. I'm the director of Fine Hill. Yeah. Well, he's probably seen you in the same fire out there. True. And there's only so much the player himself can do. What you bring to the game is all you have. And for somebody to say, do this, what I used to do, is compl completely unproductive. You see? Yeah. As, you, as you point out there, Ruby, it's character that seems to be reflected in yeah. the styles of these players. I mean, that's his character. That's what he can do. Keep in mind the glisten on Joe's back. You see that? Yeah. That's what I was talking about before. It's now at this juncture. We're starting to see it. Yeah, he's starting to pump up now. As you notice, there's a little bit of refuse on the front court. That kill shot actually hit a little matchstick and made the ball go down. Had that not been there, Joe was in a position, actually, and he has done it in the past, to retrieve those shots. Really? He could have got Yeah, a little matchstick there made it go down instead of coming through. Okay, did you see what happened then? Well, I couldn't get that shot. Could, could the I same, move back a little more? The same sorry. change of pace push shot that I mentioned in all the tournaments past, right. where instead of directing the ball at the same speed he always did, he tried to use an off-speed shot, which is not within his repertoire. Uh -huh. Okay, that was a typically a frustration shot. He yeah. never used that shot in his whole life. That's not a good left hand, no. and his body wasn't. In and when fatigue sets in, you, your eyes he perceive the ball hundred. incorrectly. Your body is in a confused motion, and that is the worst type of shot to take at that point. Look at that. That was a beautiful pickup. Joe now sees his. He was good. He did that to Albert about five times now. He put the ball on the right-hand side after keeping him on the left. Did he get the point? I think so. Okay. He's okay. still up. He must. He rightfully got the point. Okay. Joe is taking another timeout now. Oh. From back there, Albert should call it. Okay, I'm going to stop for a moment. Okay. And it's still my fault. He's running. No. We're working on the best team you've ever seen, right? Without eyes. understood my remark. And you gave me the inspiration. And it makes for a lot of fun around it. Great to see. Playing. Hey. I know nothing. 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 I know noth
In my opinion, even though Albert won that volley, I think it took a tremendous toll out of him. Now that he has the serve, he's going to be he's going to be in, under even more pressure to try and get back into this game. But remember, as I said earlier, when you come to that 13th, 14th point, you'll see what happens, that one man will have it and the other man won't. As a matter of fact, this timeout by Albert is actually a blessing for Joe. Joe is regrouping back there. Albert took the timeout, which means Joe will have one more in reserve, which I don't even think he's going to need in this game. He's just in tremendous condition. He senses now that the denouement is at hand, and he's going to be in position to do his thing. That was a wonderful move by Albert. He took a calculated risk. These walls aren't the straightest and the, the most level. And the wall near the line, the sideline, tends to veer off to the side. That particular shot you just saw should have been the pattern that Albert should have established in the first game and the early part of this game. But Joe will neutralize the next effort, I think. That was an excellent serve. He switched it off. See, Joe has such great lateral mobility that maybe sometimes you handcuff him by putting it right at his feet. But it takes an enormous amount of strength, and I don't think Albert has enough reserve to keep that type of play up. Notice the way that Joe came after that ball. He actually hovered over Albert, showing him that he was superior there, and he gave a little extra thrust to show him who was the boss. You know, on that high second serve, he, he seemed to be seeing Joe the point. I mean, that was the worst serve. He was a little serve. worried about sending it off the court, so he played it safe. Okay. Uh, Albert is an official of this game. What he's doing now should have been done before. I don't want to interpret this as an additional timeout, but from my lore of the game, I would suggest that this is just another mini timeout. It's called a freebie. The particular matter now being taken care of, he knowing the rules and making some comment about it yesterday, I'm really surprised that he's doing that now. Well, perhaps he, he, he's trying to get an edge. He's tired. Yeah. Perhaps, too, that he's just trying to get enough clearance so he can whack the ball. But from that, a lot of time back there, from that position out there, it's going to be pretty tough. Joe is, Joe is out to punish him now. Remember before I said that he warms up, that it's going to be the key play? Yeah. There it is to the left. Over and over and over again. Outside. Joe should say, Joe should say that Bob, Joe should say he stopped. Can't help, though. See, if I were Joe at that point, I would say the call of the guy saying short stopped me from making my move. Well, playing 15. This is his head a little more with Will. That was a beautiful shot. Again, it was a very low percentage shot. Well, I was about to say, he's got to kill that ball. And Albert knows that if he doesn't do it now, he's going to be in serious trouble. That was a nice switch. Oh, yeah. Got plenty of time to do it. OK. Now, wasn't Albert a better doubles player? No. No? no. OK. Remember before I said? Yeah. That was under, under the wall. Didn't I tell you the action takes place at the 14th point? There we go. Now Joe is completely convinced he has to dominate. That might have been Albert's last hurrah so far as air in the lungs. But he's a game competitor. And if Joe lets up on his side of the equation, anything can happen. You notice that Joe is playing the ball. 